hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is a cook with me and we are making some delicious and super easy chicken stuffed peppers i just came up with this recipe last week and they turn out so good and so many of you wanted to see it that i decided to film it and share it with you guys so as usual here's the list of everything i use so let's go ahead and jump right in okay so the first thing i'm going to be doing is cooking my chicken so i'm gonna go ahead and Put some water to boil and i'm gonna add some seasonings to it i am adding some adobo some onion powder garlic powder salt pepper you know all the good stuff and then i'm just gonna go ahead and put in my chicken breast usually i do this with chicken breast but i didn't have chicken breast i had chicken tenders which is pretty much the same thing so i am just using those and i am just gonna go ahead and put them in this water let them boil for a little bit i find that this is the easiest way to do this it just it's easy once they're done all i have to do is shred them and mix them with everything else Once I get my chicken going, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my peppers. So I'm just getting everything from inside them and just getting them nice and clean so they're ready to be stuffed. So because I don't wanna waste any food, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off whatever parts from the top of the peppers that I could salvage. And I'm gonna chop them up and add them to my stuffing. And this is just going to be adding a little bit of extra flavor to it. At this time, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 400. And I also put some water to boil. And in this water, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the peppers. And this is just gonna have them cook a little bit quicker because when everything goes in the oven everything is pretty much cooked and we're just kind of melting the cheese so just boiling the peppers for a few minutes before you put them in the oven is gonna make them a little bit softer and I also put a little bit of seasoning in that water so it gives them a nice flavor I also chop my whole onion because this is what gives your stuffing a lot of flavor and I am just going to go ahead and saute that in some olive oil. By now my chicken is pretty much done so I go ahead and take it out and put it in a bowl and I just shred it with two forks as much as I can. You could leave it chunkier if you want, I just like to shred it really really small. Once my onions and my peppers are a little golden, I go ahead and add a little bit of that chicken broth that I got from cooking the chicken just to make them sweat and so they don't burn. And that's when I go ahead and add my shredded chicken and my can of tomatoes. As you could tell, I'm adding a little more of that chicken broth and this is another reason why I like to cook the chicken like this is because then I could use that broth that already has flavoring to add to my stuffing so it doesn't get dried out or I feel like that's what it does. <laughs> and then I am also adding to the chicken and the tomatoes all the seasonings that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. I don't really measure anything. You guys know that I just kind of eyeball it, but you could also change the seasonings if you want. You could do Italian seasonings instead, but this is what I like to put in it. So you could just go ahead and change it up if you want to. But once I got all of that mixed up, I'm gonna go ahead and add my rice. So obviously if you were doing, this from scratch you would have made your rice already your brown rice or quinoa i already had some jasmine rice from the day before so i went ahead and added that to this i let that cook for a few minutes while i got the peppers ready i did leave the peppers in the water a little longer than i wanted to because i completely forgot about them for a second so this one kind of ripped but it was fine because i kind of stuffed it like a sushi roll and i just put a toothpick so it wouldn't just fall all apart and it worked out perfectly fine to be honest guys at the end of the day this just tastes good it doesn't really matter how it looks but how i'm stuffing them right now is i put a little bit of stuffing then i add some of this cheese and you could use whatever cheddar shredded cheese you want or mexican cheese i have been using this um, cheddar with asadero which is i think is from like tacos but it has a smoky taste and it's so 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 good so that's what i've been using lately and it goes really really well with these peppers so i kind of do layers of the chicken mixture and then some cheese and then chicken mixture and then i finish it all with some cheese 
Once you're done stuffing your peppers, they are ready to go in the oven. And I really quick wanted to share why I love this dish so much. is because you have so much leftover. I ended up taking out some of the shredded chicken alone. And I also had some leftover chicken and rice. And that's what we have the next day to eat. I used the shredded chicken over a salad. Penelope ate the rice and the chicken. It's just a really good dish to just make and have in the fridge but once you see that your cheese is melted your dish is pretty much done this is what it looks like and it's so so good guys i hope you guys enjoyed this and it gave you some ideas please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't yet thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye